There's so many things going on in the world There's babies dying and mamas crying How much oil is a human life worth And what ever happened to peace on earth We try to believe all they tell us That they're gonna kill us so we gotta kill them first I remember the commandment Thou shalt not kill And how much is that soldier's life worth And whatever happened To peace on earth And the bewildered hood is still believing Everything we've been told from our birth Hell no, they wouldn't lie to me not on my own damn TV But how much is that liar's word worth And whatever happened to peace on earth So I guess it's just you unto others Before they do it unto you Let's just kill them all and let God sort them out Is that what God wants us to do? From our birth, hell no, they will not lie to me, not on my own damn TV. But how much is that liar's word worth, and whatever happened to be so? on your radio and not on your local TV but if there comes a time and you're ever inclined you can always hear it from me but how much is a songwriter's word worth and whatever happened to be silent but don't confuse caring for weakness you can't hang that label on me The truth is my weapon of mass protection And I believe it's the truth that sets us free But how much is a songwriter's word worth And whatever happened to peace on earth And the bewildered heart is still believing Everything we've been told from our birth on my own damn TV But how much is that liar's word And whatever happened To be so And mama's crying And how much oil is that baby's life worth And whatever happened to peace on earth
Okay, here's the latest update. Just finished up the canopy. It's uh, I w actually wanted to wait until I had the solar panels here because I've got some. I've got two sets of measurements, which this will fortunately this will work for either one. As long as it's not a different measurement than those two. Anyway, uh, I got carried away and I got it done. I'm real proud of how nice it came out. Here's the seams. I don't know if you can see that. How nice and pretty it is. But now it's got nice seat belts. So. Remember the simulator? I had to buy a I had to buy a seat belt for it. And uh, so I, I had to buy them in pairs, so I had one. And uh, that's a great one. That's a great seat belt for I, I could pack my whole bedroll and tent just back here. Uh, the, now this is going to have a, the solar panels will be overhanging just a bit out here, so it'll have a nice big shade. Anyway, uh, and this will be the windshield here. There's going to be a dash to, to you know to put stuff. That'll be up there, and uh, oh, and there's going to be roll down plastic curtains that will go down one meter, well, yeah, a little more than a yard, down about, down about the, around the seat and everything, and around the back, and uh, there'll be a panel on the back, a panel for the back, and a panel for the front, same thing on that side, and, uh, but uh, the nice thing about this is it, I've gotten to a good place to be. Everything is tacked together. Uh, everything's been placed. There's two motor mounts. This motor mount here and that motor mount there. And uh, everything else will be bolted to the cage on that and all that stuff's coming. I'll have a 110 inverter and, uh, and the solar charging set up just to charge the the two 20 amp hour batteries uh, if it works as good as solo i never have to plug solo in and it's always ready to go i just jump on it and go i've got all my fishing gear and her uh, and everything and uh and it's just always ready to go all i gotta do is turn it on and go so I'm getting on 3,000 miles. I'm still a couple hundred miles away from that, but I'm getting there. That was the whole deal is I had to put 3,000 miles on it to get my money back. And uh, I'm real close to that. See, it has a separate 12-volt system, which is nice. It's really nice to have a separate system, but I found out I don't actually need that for my inverter. They make 48-volt inverters. And uh, so... That'll simplify and make things a little cheaper. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll have 110 volt, which is really nice for anything. Amplifiers, in my case, but uh, power tools also. And, uh, and um, just it's nice to have a power. If the power grid goes out, I got a still got an inverter that works every day. So uh, it's the most awesome bug out vehicle. There is. There's going to be the the chariot. It's going to have all the everything and and the, the big thing is uh, I I got to see how this is going to work out. But I went looking for a 1500 watt motor, which is a bigger motor like I started out with on solo. It actually it's a long story, but it's so much torque that uh it, they have to have a torque arm, which you see here. I've learned now, and I put a torque. You have to use, do that, or it actually will twist the axle in the in the bicycle fork housing. So that's what you got to have a torque arm. Anyway, I found <laughs> I found the two two kilowatt. But those these ones here are a thousand watt. And uh, they're good just fine. I really couldn't, I could, wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the Solo with the 1500 and the Solo now with the 1000 watt. If somebody, if I didn't know, you know, 
because it's still it still bursts up to about 1500 if you really need it and it doesn't seem to hurt it and it's uh, uh anyway so far it's uh, those thousand waters are great but this the chariot's going to have 2000 watt 2000 watt like Tim Taylor more power <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there we go. Isn't that the most awesome shit ever? And you just can't believe how cool it is.